everybody, and welcome to DE Business Lab. I'm Dr. Pam Maragliano Muniz, Chief Editor of Dental Economics. And with me again, I'm so thrilled to have you back, is Dr. Bob Martino. He's a general dentist and owns and operates seven dental practices in West Virginia. He's also the CEO of multiple companies, including Wilmar Management Company, Dentist Select, and has founded or is heavily participating in many initiatives, including Freedom Day USA, I Select MD, and Smile Defenders. He's extremely philanthropic and collects coats for those in need, offers a free dental day for kids in each of his locations, has a candy buyback program each year after Halloween, and he and his awesome family have adopted eight dogs. Bob, welcome back. Oh, thank you, Pam. I appreciate you having us. I'm thrilled to have you here. So today I would like to chat about Fluorhexidine and its alternatives. Why do you think dental professionals are still using fluorhexidine? Wow, uh, that's a great question. Um, I, I think it's one of three things. I think one, we've always used it in school. This is what they taught in school. And, and so that's what they use. And I, the, I think the challenge with that is, um, you know, there's a lot of things they taught us in school that I don't do anymore. Like, amalgams and gold foils and you know you know I'm old enough to know that in, in my in my school our slow speed was belt driven you know so so no I wouldn't use those today and I think there are alternatives that that you don't have to use chlorhexidine but I don't think I think a lot of people don't know that and so that's the second thing I don't think they know that there's alternatives okay I think that's I think they're I think chlorhexidine is the only professional rinse out there. And I think, you know, and then third, I think uh, they know about the side effects of chlorhexidine, like the staining and the calculus and all that kind of stuff, but they don't know about the real side effects that really can affect their patients. And I think if they knew that and did the research, um, they would no longer use chlorhexidine. So you mentioned stain. What other serious problems does chlorhexidine cause? Well, there, there, there are many side effects. And, and, and the, the, you, we all know about the stain. We don't know about the calculus buildup. We know about how it tastes bad. I think one of the biggest challenges for us is that you can only use it for two weeks. Uh, it was only intended to use for gingivitis. It was never intended to use for periodontitis, implants, healing after surgeries, it was never intended to do it because it is a too strong of a product. So you can only use it for a couple of weeks. So it has 1200 parts per million to kill the bacteria. Uh, for example, Oracare only has 44 parts per million. So, so it's just so strong that you can't use it. And because of that, it inhibits fibroblasts. So you never want to use it for any, any post-surgery. You know, you have to have fibroblasts to, to create healing. Uh, it's inactivated in blood. Think about this. We're using it for after a surgery and it's inactivated in blood because it was never designed for that. It was designed for gingivitis. First of all, it kills bacteria. It's a good uh, bacteria killer. Uh, it just takes too much. It's too strong. And, and to the point that some of the crazy side effects, you know, is after extractions. You never want to use it after extractions. In fact, in, in, in the UK, they've actually had two people die from too much uptake of it because you've got all these open wounds and you have this strong reaction that the body's uptake. So on open wound, you really shouldn't use chlorhexidine. And, and yeah, it's, it's it, things like this, like, like you're, you're like, I know about the stain and I know how bad it tastes and I know it's got low patient compliance, but if you really do the research and I, you know, I can give you all these, these studies that says, this is not a product we should really be using anymore other than maybe gingivitis. And, and, and even to that stage, it's still going to create the stain and, and the taste and, 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 and that. So you mentioned Oracare earlier, and I would love to hear more about it specifically as it as it is used as a professional level rinse. Sure. So we feel like there are 
there was only one professional rinse out there. When we say professional rinses, this is we're, we're talking about only sold to dental practices or written from a script. Uh, they're stronger uh, than over the counter. There's some good over the counter rinses out there, but they're not on the level of professional rinses. I always say it's like the difference between Smile Club and Invisalign or Sure Smile. So Smile Club uh, is great if you're going to do the social six and you don't need a doctor involved. But how many cases are that? Most cases need a doctor involved and because they're more complicated, then that's why you have to use Invisalign or a Sure Smile. You know, that's kind of what the difference between a professional rinse and an over-the-counter. Well, there was only chlorhexidine for years. And this is why OrCare was invented, to replace it. So they took all the negatives that chlorhexidine had, all these side effects, you know, and, and invented OrCare. And what OrCare does is it kills the same bacteria, but only 44 parts per million versus 1,200. There, you can use it indefinitely. It, it's actually a gas. So when you mix the liquids together, it gives off the gas. So it dissipates. Um, it kills bacteria, but it also kills viruses and fungus, and it breaks up biofilm and eliminates volatile sulfur compounds. So it took all these things that, you know, chlorhexidine didn't do, or some of the bad things that, chlor that chlorhexidine does, like orcare doesn't stain. You know, it tastes pretty good. It uh, has high patient compliance. Uh, uh, all the things that uh, chlorhexidine uh, has a problem with, Oracare solves it. And that's the reason why Oracare was invented. So Oracare is an activated chlorine dioxide. So it's a different mechanism of action. It's not chlorhexidine. It's completely different. Completely. It, it uses, yeah, it activated chlorine dioxide and xylitol. And so it's mixed every time. So every time the patient uses it, they put three pumps of one side and three pumps of the other and it creates this gas. So one's a salt and one's an acid. When that acid hits that salt, it gives off this gas. That gas is chlorine dioxide. It's been around since the 1800s and used in all kinds of other industries. And it does kill bacteria, viruses, fungus. And that's why we get great results. First of all, get great results because you can't fix perio in two weeks. You can't heal a wound in two weeks. In the mouth, it takes at least 30 days for the gingiva to heal. So think about this. I'm giving them something in chlorhexidine that I, they can only do for two weeks. What do they do the other two weeks? You know, what happens? And, and, and something that inhibits fibroblasts. This is why Oracare was invented. It's the only reason why Oracare was invented to give us another professional rinse, to give us something else to choose from, from just that thing that we were taught in school. So you mentioned perio, you mentioned gingivitis, you mentioned antimicrobial. Um, I know we could use this as a pre-rinse for any dental procedures. Um, I know it's also indicated for xerostomia and for wound healing as well. Can you comment on that? Yeah, it's it, it's great. You know, you, you think of some of the things that the that are caused in the mouth. If you can eliminate bacteria, viruses, and fungus, you're going to solve a lot of problems, and that's what it does. So you know, it's great for dry mouth. I think one of the best things, and I, I know you know about this, that, that we, we invented it to replace chlorhexidine, but we've get all these people that are going through cancer treatment and, and having sores in their mouth, dryness, burning sensation, all caused by, you know, fungal infections and, and, and or cares help. We did not know that that was going to happen. You know, but when you think about it, you know, if you're eliminating all those things and, and, and keeping plaque down, you can see why it would work. And, and it's a great surprise to us that that it that it does do that and, and, and very pleasantly. Since you mentioned cancer patients, I know you also have an outreach that you provide the practices that dispense aura care for patients that they have in their practices that are unfortunately diagnosed with cancer. Would you please share that? Sure. We, and, and we just kind of changed it up we, for every order that you place, we're given one of these to somebody that's going through cancer care. 
So it's your order, their relief. And, and, and again, this was something we had no idea that Oracare was going to do. So because of that, we thought we need to do something to help people out. We, we didn't invent it for this. We've been very blessed with, with this. And we thought, let's, let's, let's do so. So when offices reach out to us and they say, I have a patient that's going through chemotherapy or radiation, what our office does is they get a note from the office and Oracare sends that note along with a free set of Oracare to that patient, you know, from the office and from Oracare. And, and the patients, you know, they're going through all kinds of problems, everything. They shouldn't be going through, you know, sore mouth or dryness. So this, this helps. And, and, and it's, it's something that, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're really proud of. As you should be. It's such a wonderful thing that you're offering your offices okay. and to ultimately to these patients. Where can we get more information? Okay. The best way for Oracare is uh, our website, oracareproducts.com. And then if you need more information, I always say set up a webinar. Uh, we, uh, uh, our staff, I think, uh, knows it so well and it can explain it, how it can work for you. It, you know, one office may use it for dry mouth. The other one may use it for bad breath. The other may use it for pair. Finding out what you want to use it for and then show you how it will work. And we have before and after pictures and we have studies and we have all that kind of stuff. The biggest thing I think that I, that I, I I'm kind of on a mission, you know, is why do we keep using this stuff that is harming our patients and, and called, called chlorhexidine. And so I think we need to make a change. I would love for that change to be poor care, but I think it needs to be a change. It sounds that way. And I think a lot of us don't know any better because we were taught otherwise. So thank you so much for this information. I think a lot of people were going to want to research the dangers of chlorhexidine and what we can do to better treat our patients. So I couldn't thank you more for your time today. Thank you, Pam. I appreciate you having us. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you again. Okay. All right, everybody. For DE Business Lab, I'm Dr. Pam Maragliano-Munez, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.